Okay, I changed it to Palea. Now let's actually get Palea to open. Palea is just a black screen. I don't know how to... It's literally just... Is it supposed to be a black screen? Okay, I got it. It's a black screen again. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> What's this game? Uh, Palea is a game that some of my online friends have started playing um, somehow that is for PC and is hoping to expand to Switch. It is free to play and it is a multiplayer uh, farming simulator. It's multiplayer Stardew Valley. It's not Stardew Valley because it doesn't have combat and it's not pixelated and it has it's honestly nothing like Stardew Valley. Let me log in. Animal Crossing but without animals. Uh, it's not even Animal Crossing. Be a responsible neighbor. Please take care of ourselves and our emotions. Be responsible as we play. Use tools provided to us in game to ensure everyone include ourselves. Stay safe. Protect our personal information. Do not ask other players to share theirs. Be a kind neighbor and embrace diversity and reject discriminatory language, behavior, and bigotry. Build a kinder world in hand. We will work together to uphold a welcoming, tolerant, and inclusive community. Every player, at some point in their journey, is new, and that's okay. We will work together to help new players and welcome them to Palea and the community. Wish there were subtitles! Where are they? Body type. We have uh, Dorito upwards and Dorito downwards. If you're not a Dorito, I'm sorry. Those are the two genders. Dorito 1 and Dorito 2. Oh, hair dye patterns. Oh. You will be able to change into any of those wardrobes once you build a wardrobe. Ooh. Time for you to go out into the world. I have high hopes for what you can accomplish. Okay. So we have like what? Like a like a fairy stepmom? That's what it sounds like with the lady going talking about us. Like we're not in the room. Maleficent sound an ass. <laughs> talking like we're not in the room. When are we going to tell her that she's adopted? <laughs> what do you mean? I'm not the natural child of my two lesbian fairy godmother moms? <laughs> no, sweetie. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay. Game absolutely froze. <laughs> It's fine, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay. The protagonist way you land in the world is kind of funny. Oh, a good day for research, don't you think? I don't like how we couldn't choose to have pink skin. That would have been nice. Did you materialize out of nowhere? Honestly, no idea. Right, you probably don't know any more about your situation than I do. So the whole thing is you being a human and a non-human world. Oh, okay. None of the other humans know either. It leaves me right back at square one. What, did you talk to them just now? Other humans. Yeah, you're not the first person in Palea. I found something here that's close to figuring it out. She's so cute. I was caught off guard before I realized. Seems nervous about getting to know you. There's a heart eater. This is my girlfriend. I've got to get back to the grind. Okay. She's down for the grind, if you know what I'm saying. W-A-S-D is move. 
Oh, the game is only slightly struggling to run. Just kidding. It's <laughs> Can I turn down the volume, please? Nice. Struggling a little bit. <laughs> Let's turn things to medium and see how that runs instead. Because this thing is f struggling. Oh, yeah, that's so much smoother. Maybe I should try it on low. Chain. Healer and Sage to care for our villagers physically and spiritually. How are you feeling? It's a little overwhelming. I'm Tish from the furniture store. I just materialized from the void. That sounds tough. My brother and I first moved it. It took us a little time to adjust. So this is... A farmer. Here's a carrot for Sugarfoot. Back to my I'm workout. betting that's a horse. I hope that's a horse. I got an axe and a carrot. I don't know what the carrot's for, so I'm a little confused. But you know what? I that's fine. Kenley, born son of the late Kinjan Bahari, the 118th Duke of the Bahari province. Brother to Kinyara Bahari, the current Duchess of the Bahari province. The mayor of the village. Oh, okay. Well, you could have said as much. Can I, I can equip things this way. Why is this tree purple? Oh, it heals itself. F*** you. It was mostly seamlessly to transition into the cutscene, but except for the part where uh, all the textures on the screen disappear. You focus on getting a roof over your head and a place to keep your things before you worry about glowing tubes. Goodbye. You're still here, huh? Finn's whose glowing tube is it? Womp womp. Oh, this thing is f***ing huge. Holy shit. Well, I'll just put all the things in there and let's see what this lady wants. <laughs> Ani. Oh, it's a it's a boy. It's a little mask. Be day of mist birthing, new human. And here is hunting materials from Hacien. So when I get a new recipe, is it automatically unlocked or do I have to like Okay, yeah. If it's just outside, it will damage your rod health. Huh. Let's try it. Alright, welcome. Quest completed. We started Singularity 6 in order to create new worlds that deepen players' lives. Startup Studio, excited that you found your way to Palea. Can't live without players like you giving it a chance. If you like what we're trying to create and want to support us further, but the best thing you can do is tell friends and family about the game. This is like their first ga like real game that they're like putting out there and putting yeah. a lot into. And so I think they, they're just excited people are trying it, which is sweet. Do literally set an, us a uh, a letter. Don't be surprised if I know your name. Yeah, I know. I, we got your mail this morning. Got your letter. Oh, the city sends that. Interesting. The prismatic void that humans come from. Sorry, can't stand chat. Reth is adorable. Okay, that was not very helpful. Who is that? Just got some new blazers. Cheese biscuit. Jeez, look! <laughs> hmm? No, I found the buff woman. Oh, oh. Uh. She's a monster hunter. Oh, she became a blacksmith because her son. Hey! <laughs> now, where'd I put my hammer? Good she doesn't have a heart, though, so you can't romance her. Back to work. I'm pretty sure that's what the hearts are for, is that they're like, you can do a romance Probably. of some sort. You can romance this robot, apparently. Gina's robot friend? No, there's another robot. <gasps> Where? Bet. <gasps> there he is. He's so tall. OMG. Particular rice striped dates to act as a companion. Let me know if you spot one. Will do, sir. Farewell. Man's trying to steal my fish. Dude, back off. Casting your line closer to mine is not going to get you to take my fish from me. Got bothering you, babe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's trying to take my fish. I'm on my way. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> 
I have my axe out. I'm on my way. If he catches this dace before I do, I'm a riot. Fish much faster than this guy, though. You Get good, good, man. I'm gonna catch this f***ing dace. He catches, he catches this before me. He's gonna catch these hands. Oh, he's got a better fishing pole than I do. You're not here to steal my fish, are you? Paleia is a free-to-play game developed and published by Singularity6, a small corpo based in LA. Many of them used to work for Riot Games, a small little indie company that you've probably never heard of that made some little game called Liag of Legend. This part was actually a shock to me because Paleo's devs are really on top of their community and ideals while Riot... But this might be because the game is still a little small. And as this is a non-competitive team game, Singularity 6 is doing a significantly better job already. I only saw one scammer so far trying to sell me in-game currency over the course of 15 plus hours? That's less than Final Fantasy XIV had. So what's good about the game? What's special about it? Why did I bother to play it for more than an hour? Some of these sillier bugs can be chalked up to it being a game in beta. I certainly don't think the devs are trying to be lazy. But the game as is comes with a few issues, tutorials that keep coming back, turning into a grey, t-posing, headless horseman. The game does seem to run way better if you are not also streaming and running a live 2D program. Oops. However, it insofar is pulling off multiplayer farming in a unique and fun way. Each unique instance slash player has their own items, stats, plot of land, relationship with townsfolk, etc. You are free to help or play solo as you wish and don't have to restart a whole new game just to pop in and fish with a friend and then never do it again. You're free to make your own decisions and don't have to worry about someone else's plants dying while you binge mine 300 copper pieces. You don't have to compete for romances or resources. The benefits to helping others essentially doubles the materials you get. The more people who help take down a deer, the more materials you all get. What I enjoyed about Palia was going into it with friends on day one. That's the intended experience. And unless you're very partial to farming and crafting sims to begin with, it might not be the game for you. There's still more for me to explore when it comes to crafting and getting to know the town. Everyone has unique personalities and purplish elf skin, and players are divided over certain characters' methods of... communication. Some of them are just assholes. Wow. Nayo is so insecure, and Kenyatta and Hacian can be sort of mean. And Gina is the love of my life. Finding items is much easier in this game. For help with something, you can ask anyone who's loaded into the same server as you, and so far as they've been extremely helpful. No opening a third tab to scour an obscure game guide or wiki when you're a little stumped on where to find worms. However, you can't get your hand completely held. You can only request items from other players that you've already found before. So helpful if you accidentally sold the fish you weren't supposed to, but people can't outright hand you the quest items. Overall, the game feels like a beta. In its current stages, it's running at about a 6 out of 10, but already running events and engaging players with what it does have. It's very possible for this game to get better as things get going, but hey, it's free. If you want to give it a shot, I would recommend trying it out with a few buddies. It isn't a question that I'm wondering about, it's a feeling that I have. Imagine, uh, if you had a, an interview with God, everybody was going to have an interview with God, and you would ask one question. What would you ask?